Hey, what's up guys? It's Donnie Donnie. It's Donnie, Donnie. Who? It's Donnie Donnie, Donnie. <laughs> I'm being silly. I should make that my new jingle. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it would be fun to showcase Morning Musume members as Western pop girlies. I need to give a shout out to my subscriber, Caroline, for the idea. So I selected a couple of Morning Musume members who give me vibes of a pop artist. So yeah, this isn't really based on looks at all. I'm really just basing this on vibes and aesthetics. I feel I have some really cool comparisons and I'm not gonna lie, some are a little off the wall. <laughs> but hey, let's just have fun with this. I'm also recording this with my new microphone, so tell me what you think of the sound quality. I feel the quality is very clear and crispy. <laughs> All right, I'm rambling. Let's get this list started. Let's start with the most obvious one. It's Maki, bitch. <laughs> All credit for this one goes to Renaya Hunter, who came up with the Maki Britney comparison. Look, Maki's solo career is so Britney coded, you know, with the male backup dancers, the sex appeal, the energetic pop sound, like it's all Britney. I guess Hello Project was inspired by Brit Brit and wanted to create their own. They did a good job in my opinion. Uh, Maki's solo career was pretty awesome. So yeah, Maki is Britney. Maki Spears, Maki Jean. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I was quoting Tiffany New York Pollard. <laughs> But yes, uh, Takahashi Ai is the Beyonce of Hello Project. I like to call her Ayanse. Hey. <laughs> I feel Takahashi Ai is the ultimate idol and the goat of Morning Musume. For me, I was in her prime in 2010 and all of her performances that year was given Beyonce. Drop a like on the video if you're part of the Ai Hive. <laughs> Look, I'm coining a term for Takahashi Eye fans. Y'all are now the Eye Hive. EST 2024 by Donnie Donnie. <laughs> if I have any 90s babies or 90s kids watching, you guys know Brandy was the queen of R&B and a big name in pop culture too. I see Fujimoto Miki as Brandy because they both emit this alpha main character energy and plus they're both so talented with unique voices. I always say Miki probably has the best voice in Morning Musume. She sounds so angelic and Brandy has a distinct tone to hers that can't be imitated. They're two peas in a pot to me. They're both like big sisters that I never had in a way. <laughs> I wish management would have allowed Mickey to explore her solo career because in a way, it kind of feels like Brandy's. This is one of my off the wall choices. So please tell me what you think of this comparison. What? Y'all didn't know Paris made music? <laughs> My Gen X and millennial gays know, don't you? <laughs> Listen, Paris's self-titled album in 2006 was such a bop and so damn cunty. I remember being on YouTube back in the day when copyright didn't really exist, just blasting her songs. I used to play the shit out of Ashley Tisdale's Headstrong too. One night with you, boy, just one night with you. All the things we could do every day I think of. <laughs> How my mom didn't know I was gay just boggles my mind, but let me digress. <laughs> I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm revealing too much Donnie Donnie lore. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna double up with this one. You know, Rika and Sayumi are basically the same characters and they're very Paris coded. If you listen to Paris' debut album, all of the songs are things I can hear Rika and Sayumi singing. Even Paris' voice, like, it could be Rika or Sayumi singing. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, can you see Rika and Sayumi as Paris Sultan? I'd love for them to record a cunty album, but you know, Sayumi, she's gonna need a little auto-tune. <laughs> I just can't with a regular voice. <laughs> At first, I had Masaki as Renee rap, but then I was like, nah, we're picking OGs over here. <laughs> so this may be a little off the wall, but what do you guys think of Masaki as Kesha? You know, as Maki grew older, she began to adopt this, you know, this wild, chaotic, untamed gimmick. And I feel Kesha had the same personality in her early career. And honestly, I'm not really following Masaki's solo career, but I think she should try singing songs similar to Kesha's early era. You know, minus the drug use, of course. <laughs> Masaki is a free spirit, and I feel her voice complements that style. Plus, I feel she would express herself well with music like that. It's just a thought, but you guys tell me what you think. So you guys know I love calling Akuta Edina Ariana Grande, <laughs> but the true equivalent to Ariana Grande is Oda Sakura. You know, minus the home wrecking behaviors, of course. And uh, ooh. vocally, Sakura is at the top in Hello Project, and her crisp, sharp vocals can size up Ariana. This is going to be a hot take, maybe. I don't know. I, some may agree with me. But you know, when Sakura graduates, I hope she doesn't pursue a solo career within Hello Project. Uh, in my opinion, Hello Project, they don't really market their soloists well. <laughs> now, I would love for Sakura to come to the States and try to break out in our entertainment market. Sakura, we will take you, okay? Come on. <laughs> I'll buy your plane ticket. <laughs> but you know, honestly, realistically, you know, Sakura, she seems very orthodox and conservative, so I doubt she'll be interested. You know, you gotta sexualize yourself here, and <laughs> you know, she may not be down for that, but you know. But another hot take, you know, I do feel Sakura has the potential to become a global icon, you know. I just feel Hello Project kind of binds her down, but you know, I digress. So yeah, Oda Sakura is Sakurana Granoda. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Now, I'm real proud of myself for this one. Y'all better agree with me for this, too. <laughs> Ida Corey as Lana Del Rey. So, you know, Corey, she is such a visually stunning woman, and I feel she could pull off a Lana Del Rey aesthetic. You know, Lana has a very uh, nostalgic, old money, classic American aesthetic. You know, with some grunge, angst, and dreamy shades. And, you know, again, I can see Corey pulling it off perfectly. You know, Corey's voice would sound so great with Lana's music, too. Just visualize it. Do you see it? Imagine her singing West Coast. Dun, 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 dun. I can see my baby swinging. His parliament on fire in his hands. On the balcony, and I'm singing. Ooh, ooh, baby, baby ooh, ooh, baby, baby I'm, I'm in love. love. Like, ooh. yes. You know, Corey has a very, you know, a deep, you know, a deeper voice. And I feel like it just, and Lana's music is so slow. It would just sound so perfect. So, yeah. Ida Del Rey needs to be a thing. <laughs> I love this comparison, but what do you guys think? The Miracle, the Platinum Diva, everyone's problematic favorite, one of the most controversial figures in Morning Musume history, Kusume Koharu. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the fans can never make me hate this girl. Koharu is an influential icon in my house. <laughs> but yeah, Koharu is Doja Cat because they're both controversial figures in their realms of entertainment. And to be honest, when I listen to that bop of a song, Paint the Town Red, all I think of is Koharu. Like, Doja, she was singing about Koharu. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, she said what she said. She'd rather be famous instead. She let all that get to her head. She doesn't care. She paints the town red. Mm, she's the devil. She's a bad little bitch. She's a rebel. She puts her foot to the pedal. It'll take a whole lot for her to settle. Like, yes. Like, Doja is singing about my girl Koharu right there. Red was even Koharu's member color. Like, yes. Like, <laughs> it's just uncanny at this point. <laughs> We should start calling Koharu Kusumi Cat. <laughs> I had the toughest time finding an artist for Reyna because, you know, I really wanted Reyna on here. And, you know, Reyna is a one of a kind idol. Like, she's like the anti idol, you know? And, you know, you guys may disagree with me, but Reyna gives me an Avril Lavigne vibe. Especially before the Platinum era, when she was characterized as the, you know, the rebellious Yankee of the group. Avril is no Britney, Beyonce, or Brandy, but Avril is still an influential icon in pop culture with her creative mix of pop and alternative rock. I feel this fits Reyna. You know, Reyna didn't try to adopt a faux, cutesy image. She was her authentic self like Avril, so I'm standing by this. But, you know, what do you guys think? Initially, I had Aerie as Ashley Tisdale. You know, I thought Aerie gave like a cute Disney girl vibe, but I changed my mind. I wanted to elevate her comparison a bit. I feel Kame Aerie as the late Aaliyah is even better. Rest in peace to Aaliyah, by the way. She was such a beautiful woman. She actually passed away on my sixth birthday, which is insane, but you know, back on topic. So yeah, Aerie was a very underrated during her entire tenure in Morning Musume. And I can see Ari pulling off Aaliyah aesthetics and singing her songs. You know, Aaliyah had a very soothing, relaxing voice that was perfect for R&B and urban pop. I feel Ari could easily match that. You know, Aaliyah is someone that was very humble and so approachable, and Ari gives the same vibe. Um, you know, <laughs> to my 90s babies and 90s kids, what do you guys think of this comparison? Is Ari worthy to stand next to the icon, the legend, the eternal moment, Aaliyah? <laughs> so I have two for Risa. <laughs> so okay, honestly, the overall pick is Miley Cyrus. But man, Risa in 2010 with her soccer mom, can I speak to your manager, Karen ass haircut? <laughs> it was definitely giving Reba McIntyre. <laughs> I'm a survivor. <laughs> she was giving us Nigaki Reba. <laughs> Did you guys watch the Reba show growing up? I would watch it on the country music channel sometimes as a kid. And then, you know, I watched it religiously when I was in college during my lunch break um, on the Freeform channel. Well, the channel was called ABC Family back then. But, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> but I'm rambling and going off topic, back on track. So yeah, Risa is Miley. More so Miley pre-2013. You know, Risa is such a fun girl with high energy. And, you know, she was just giving me Miley Cyrus vibes. But, you know, you guys tell me what you think. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it caused you to smile. Um, but what do you guys think of my choices? Was I spot on? Were they all silly and dumb as hell? <laughs> I actually had a few more, but I'll type them in the comments. But what are your choices and comparisons? Let's talk about it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>